Wait, Q what? N? T. T, 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 T. Q, T. <laughs> Questions that need answers. Questions oh that God. need answers. You were fine. You had the I know, the but it was thing. kind of too close, don't you think? Okay, Q, T, N. Hey. Are you dyslexic? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Okay. <laughs> this is a long word. Just write D, D, and D, C. Oh. Well, what if we just do... You could do, yeah, you could do the whole thing. That's fine. Perfect. Much Good. better. <laughs> okay. Sometimes here on Quitna, we actually live up to our name. And today we have very important content that we're going to talk about. And it's very important because it's plagued SISM and CISP studiers for a very long time, but honestly, it doesn't need to. It's very easy once you understand it. So let's talk about due diligence and due care. And to help with that, we have a very special guest, Desiree. So welcome to the show, Desiree. Thanks for being Thanks, here. Sam. Thank you for having me. I'm, of a, course. I'm a big fan. Oh, stop it. No, you're not. No, I'm not. Before we get into the question, um, let's talk about the difference between due diligence and due care. And I'm going to start with due diligence because I'm an expert at that because my initials are DD, obviously. <laughs> nope, you spelled it wrong. Okay. It's, it's literally right there on the board. <laughs> I can't even spell it with two L's. <laughs> We're both taking L's today, you especially. We're not off to a great start here. Dude, you got to you, you said great. you're an expert. Like let's let's not prove great. That. All right, so due <laughs> expert. Dil <laughs> All right, due diligence is something we do beforehand that reduces risk. So before we invest in something, before we do some type of process, it's the type of research or mm. assessment um, that we take to reduce risk. So um, some key terms that you want to think about is research everything that happens before we make the decision research so some type of assessment that looks like five s's in a row it's but. not it's a joke it's <laughs> it's a fancy e fancy es assessment thank you for the interruption assessment think things that are done beforehand makes sense right and do care do care is kind of just the opposite in that it works together, but do care is done afterwards. So after something is implemented, it's usually in the form of, you know, uh, uh, what times in the legal world we call upkeep, right? Or reasonable steps or reasonable measures. So for example, um, say you're like going on a date with somebody or you're considering going on a date with somebody. And that's the thing that is risky, right? So to reduce risk, you have to do due diligence and due care. Due diligence would be like what? Cyber stalking. <laughs> okay, you can, you, Which is you, you can do that. Maybe not legal, but... I think it's legal. Necessary? I, I'm pretty sure it's legal. Like, if, if it's illegal, I should be in jail because that's a very important step in any sort of dating, doing your research on the person before. Now, say that you decide to go on a date with that person, that you're dating them, due care would be like, you know, A contractual you are... obligation to buy me flowers on every Monday. <laughs> there you go. Uh, it's a guarantee of making me happy. That, exactly. You are doing things to upkeep the relationship. You are, you are listening to the person. You're going to counseling. You're doing things that are scheduled after you have actually decided to date. So again, both are related to reducing risk. Both are very important concepts of remaining compliant uh, in the legal world. And both, again, Sometimes trick, trick people up, but if you understand this, you'll be able to understand the question we're about to show next. Okay, so now we're ready for the question. And Desiree, what is something that you noticed right away in part because maybe you wrote it really largely on the board? <laughs> Not. Not, exactly. So, now this may seem silly, but when you're, when you're on question 250, it's very easy to miss keywords like this. So even in your head when you're reading it, make sure it's capitalized because if you misread or don't read properly that it's a not, you're gonna get the question wrong, right? Because you're looking for the opposite answer choice. So the word not really impacts a sentence. Like, I love pineapple on my pizza, not. <laughs> I'm here on my own free will, not. Okay, I, I mean, my parents love and respect me and they are happy with my choice of being an online teacher and not a doctor, you know? <laughs> like, 
Oh my god, okay, we'll talk about that later. So what we're looking for is the opposite of due diligence, so due care. So if the answer is due diligence, it's the wrong one. So performing a background check, what do you think? So performing a background check sounds more like beforehand. This sounds more like research, so yep. definitely due diligence. Due diligence, so it's not the right answer. Right. Uh, th I will say this is like one of the most beautiful handwriting we've ever had on Quintna, but sometimes it's hard to read. Researching the security posture of potential business partner. What do you think? Again, I mean, it's the key word, researching. Yep. Um, and we're thinking, we go back to what we said about looking into the partner yeah. type of thing. So yeah, definitely due diligence. That's definitely risky. So it's a good idea to research who you're hanging out with. And applying software patches. What do you think? Applying software patches sounds like more so after the fact. It mm -hmm. sounds like upkeep, like Keep. you already have the software installed, mm -hmm. so it's something that you're doing to make sure it stays secure. So I'm going to go with due diligence, or due care. Due care, that's right. Not is the keyword. It's not due diligence. That's we how think you get it's, questions it's, wrong. That's how you get <laughs> questions wrong, which won't happen to you on your system, don't worry. Because you did this, Quinta, you're well prepared. And let's take a look at our last answer choice, which is pen testing and application before acquisition. What do you think? So I'm going to go with due diligence because, again, the key word before acquisition. Yep. So it's something we're doing prior to actually taking the action of the acquisition. Yep, makes sense. So we are confirmed. Our right answer is C because, or not C, third bubble, because that one is the example of due care. So that's it, folks. That's the whole thing. It's very simple. Due diligence is research. Happens before. Do care. Upkeep happens after. So Desiree Dickerson, this is DD. Thank you so much for being here. Finding a DD, getting here, we really appreciate your input. I should have done my due diligence before I agreed to this. Okay. But.